For this episode, I'm with Fabio Leopoldo, four-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion and the IFL MMA world champion. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. I'm here with Fabio Leopoldo. Thank you very much for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for like having me. It's a great team. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Lead instructor for the Marumbi Academy. How did you get started with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Oh, actually, you know, always like I was a wild kid. I always I try all the sports. So thinking, you know, I started with like karate in the time, and I got like really into. And after I heard like about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I started with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and never more, and never stopped it. You won the adult division three times as a, for the world champion. At what point did you say, this is my career, this is my passion? Actually, before, uh, before I won, I knew, you know, I, I realized that's my passion. And I remember like I have a friend, he went to compete, I was like just started. And uh, he come back with like a silver medal and he started telling about all these big tournaments. And uh, when, when I was a white belt, I, I set up like the goal, you know, like I'm going to be world champion jiu-jitsu black belt. So That is amazing. Yeah. You have several schools in Ventura County alone, mm -hmm. the uh, Morumbi Academy. Mm -hmm. How did you choose this area? It's kind of a neat story of how you came to America and created, made the dream for yourself. Yeah, so first, you know, I opened my academy in Brazil in 1999. Actually, I started teaching in 1997. And then in 1999, I opened my academy, deal, always compete, folks a lot in tournaments. And when I moved to United States in 2006 to compete in the IFL, the International Fight League, I compete like for two years, fought some MMAs, you know, like I, I fought before, but like this, I fought like in probably one year, did five MMAs. And my body started to get like a little, oh, I'm not that good anymore. My shoulder, I have like a bigger uh, problem my shoulder. And I was already with 30 years old. And um, I said, oh, I'm going to open one academy. In that time, I used to live in New York. And I had some friends live here in California. And they told me about this area here. I introduced one guy, Professor Raul. And he drove me around. And I ended up here, you know, in Ventura. I love the city. I love the area. I love the beach. So I surf. So that's the perfect lifestyle for like a jiu-jitsu. And I come from like a big city, Sao Paulo, you know, it's a huge city, doesn't have a beach, you know. Always I knew like one day, you know, like I want to be like in the place where I can surf, a little more relaxed and um, that's perfect for me here. You have done an amazing job and I've actually had the pleasure of living in the same area. And you have, I think, seven times you've had the best martial arts school in, the, in Ventura County. Yes. Yes, yeah, since when we open, we've been like voted best martial arts academy in Ventura County. Yeah, this is good. It has to be the instructor. Yeah, can be. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a new person. I've never done martial arts. Why would I choose Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Uh, first, for like a self defense, you like one of the best self defense that I like. And, um, also, the lifestyle what Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brings to you is amazing because it's not every martial arts that you, you learn and do 100% that you learn in the training. Because in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we learn a lot of self defense techniques against the punch, against the knife, but we don't kick and punch. So, kind of like everything we learn, you go 100%. So, and we not hurt ourselves, ourselves, like for a, even box, you know, you can never punch nobody 100% in the face. And then that's kind of like the lifestyle, you know, you start eating better, you start to worry about being in good shape, and uh, you develop your own Jiu Jitsu, you know, depending on like what kind of body type you have. Yeah, I think that's the martial arts for like now, you know, like before we had like karate and then taekwondo, then, but now, you know, like, man, we are, we are hot now. <laughs> You've created such an atmosphere for families. You mm -hmm. created, a, you always say, a, a family of champions. Mm -hmm. What is your philosophy on that? Uh, first, you know, like we say a family because. You know, just for you become like a black belt here, you have to train like around eight years, you know, like so man, imagine if you see like the same persons here for eight years, that's your best friend, your family. 
And um, so that's one thing. And another thing, we are building a Champions for Life, not just because for our academy, but I think more even for the Jiu-Jitsu, you know, like, man, the person can active like their goals, you know, like they can be a better person, they can be a champion life because the Jiu-Jitsu. And, um, you know, inside the Morumbi here, we just like to do this because we believe so much in Jiu-Jitsu. Even I have like this, you know, Jiu-Jitsu believers, you know. So that's kind of like a movement that we do. If the kids want to get in shape, buck, you know, like because kind of like the grappling part, you hold, push, is not like uh, we think it's going to help like develop like a, a good body, you know, like a strong. And uh, Jiu-Jitsu, you know, help for everything. Uh, for the people at home, can you show them a few of your favorite moves on me? Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy. Yeah. The hard part I did here, you know, like talking in the front of the camera, here it's gonna be easier. Call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see like some self-defense, basic self-defense against the punch here. So the guys come through the punch on me here. I'm in here, he think he cannot try to go anywhere. Try to punch me here, he can't. When he tried to go away from me, step this back. So then coming here. I can have like my knee here to control. I can come in really cool arm bar here. Okay, so that's kind of like one self defense. Another self defense here. The guy coming, starting push. No, yeah, you can do this one, sure. So boom, I'm in here. Boom. So I'm in here. Another control. I'm in the full mount position here. So like if the guy starting, I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna punch you here. He's gonna defend. I come in here. We go to this kind of like arm bar here, we call Americana, he taps. Let's gonna do like a, one kind of like a Jiu Jitsu mat, you know, like, come in here, boom. A nice choke that I did here we call clock choke. <laughs> so not the one here. I can come pull the person to my guard. I'm in here, control. Boom. Oh. <coughs> and I have like a fly arm bar here. <laughs> yeah guys, so how you guys can see we can do like a, as a self-defense, as a sport, it's really fun. So if you guys have a chance, one time, if you guys in the area, stop by. It's going to be great to have, to have you guys here. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, so much for coming on the show. It is amazing to be such a real champion. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Professor, thank you, guys. And thank you for watching another episode of Hot! <laughs>